In this video I'm going to be talking to you about Astro modifying a Canon DSLR camera. What is Astro modification? Why do we do it? Should you do it? And if so, how do you do it? I'm Nick and this is Astro Exploring. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you never miss another upload. Let me give you a brief background about my astrophotography journey so far. I've been using the Skywatcher Star Adventurer for about two years now and I started out with just a Canon DSLR unmodified on top of a ball head adapter taking wide field astrophotography shots. Astrophotography for me is about continual improvement on your previous image so learning from what you've done previously mistakes that you've made whether that be forgetting to turn your mount on leaving the lens cap of your camera on not having an accurate enough polar alignment the wrong iso setting all sorts of these things these are all mistakes that i've made i know they're all mistakes that you've made you can't deny it we've all been there um, but continuously trying to improve on your previous image You'll get to a point, however, where you're starting to make what you feel is the best that you can with the equipment that you have, and then you'll need to upgrade something. That is just the life of astrophotography, I'm afraid. Um, for me, I don't use any filters. I don't use my laptop for my imaging session. I don't use you know, sharp cap for polar alignment or anything like that. I don't have any auto guiding equipment. Um, so there are a vast amount of things that I can do to improve my setup. However, these things are all very, very expensive and I'm not made of money. So one thing that you can do, however, which I found is fairly cheap, um, is to astro modify your camera. And that was the natural next step for me in my setup. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the channel, you'll see that I, I regularly use my Skywatch HEQ5 Pro with the, uh, with the belt mod and the um, Skywatcher Star Adventurer with my 72ED DS Pro refractor telescope. And for me, I feel like I'm at the limit of what I can do with that equipment. For deep sky astrophotography, having a modified camera opens up a whole new world of targets um, and can also improve the images that you've taken of previous targets, such as the Orion Nebula, how it works is that a stock DSLR camera has got a filter just behind the mirror there that you can see and that will block, as you can see from this graph here, about 80% of uh, very, sp very specific wavelengths. The one that we are most interested in is 656 nanometers, which is the hydrogen alpha emission that you will see in many deep sky objects um, that we that we photograph and having a modified DSLR just opens up all of those targets to you and will improve your images massively. This graph here after a camera has been modified the spectral range is much greater and allows for the 656 nanometer wavelength to pass through much more and this, what this will do is it will change your images um, to bring out more of that red light or red gas rather from, uh, from your pictures. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, this is an image that I took back in January, I think, early new year, um, of the Orion Nebula when I'm, before my camera was modified. And this is an image that I took of the Orion Nebula about two weeks ago in my back garden. Uh, everything about these um, setups is exactly the same, apart from this time I'd had the camera astro modified. So you can really see the difference in the detail of the, of the nebula, allowing all of that red light to pass through it and hit the sensor. Now, should you modify your DSLR is an interesting question. Depends what it is that you're doing, to be perfectly honest. If you are shooting wide field Milky Way shots, your images might look better, um, but no, you don't really need to modify your camera. You don't need to modify your camera to photograph the moon. You don't need to modify your camera to photograph uh, the planets. Not that I recommend doing that with a DSLR anyway. Um, however, if you're wanting to shoot 
deep sky objects such as nebulas and galaxies, then yes, you absolutely should modify your camera. However, what I would suggest is that you get to grips with astrophotography first. If you're, if you're new to this hobby, I don't recommend going out and spending loads of money on loads of new equipment that you don't fully understand and getting your modified and, and getting your camera modified at the same time. I would recommend learning the process, coming up with some images that you're really proud of, and then when you think that you're hitting the limit of what you're getting out of your camera, then you should modify it. And because you've waited and you fully understand what it is that you're doing, you'll be straight back into taking images that you're really proud of, but this time the quality of them will just be so much better and you can just pick back up where you've left from. The other thing that I would recommend is to have two. So this is the DSLR that I had previously. Uh, I like photography anyway. I wanted to use this camera still during the daytime. Um, um, so I didn't want to get this one modified because getting your camera astro modified will give all of your daytime shots a big red tinge to them, which you can process out in something like Photoshop, um, but you don't really want to be doing that with every single photograph. So what I did was I got a new camera and I got this Astro Modified. So this was second hand, it was about £180, uh, which is probably about, I don't know, maybe nearly $300 uh, US dollars, something like that, just to give you an idea. Then the Astro Modification itself cost 75 pounds from cheapastrophotography.com big shout out to Juan who turned this camera around in just under a week it's absolutely amazing service and he modifies cameras all the time um, he's so good at it and so proficient that he actually if he destroys your camera while modifying it um, he will um, actually replace it with a like for like for you um, so that's absolutely brilliant one thing to bear in mind, if you modify your camera in this way, any warranty that you did have will be void, which is why I recommend buying a second-hand camera. This camera, as I say, new, these cameras are about 500 quid. Now, as I've already said, this one was 180. It only had 7,000 shutter actuations. I mean, that's, it's, it's basically new. Um, for, for that amount of money, the, the price difference was incredible. So for 250 quid, I got myself an Astro modified DSLR camera and that is absolutely brilliant um, and this one can be left alone for my daytime photography. How to do it is an interesting one. I There are plenty of YouTube tutorials that will show you how to astro modify your camera. However the thing to bear in mind is that regardless of how much money you've spent on your camera whether you got it for 50 quid or 500 quid if you break it that's on you and there's no comeback from that. So I thought I would leave this to the professionals who know what they're doing. For the sake of 75 quid, with the guarantee that I would get a new camera if he broke it whilst doing it, I thought that was absolutely worth 75 pounds. The older models of cameras, such as the, the 450D or um, the, the T3i as it's known in other countries, um, is a lot easier to modify. And I would recommend, you know, if I had one of those models, I would probably do it myself. The newer models, the 650D, um, sorry, sorry my, Hugo's just walked in past me, <laughs> hello. Um, where was I? The newer models are more complicated, will take longer, and I just don't think it's worth the risk. Uh, it's 180 quid down the drain if I got it wrong. And I'll finish by just dispelling a few myths that I read a lot online about Astro modified cameras. You can still use your camera in the daytime, you will just need to use something like Photoshop to process out uh, or get the color balance right so that it's back to where it normally is. You know, I took a photograph of the moon the other night with my Astro modified camera. Um, all, all I had to do, obviously that came out as a red moon, all I had to do was adjust the color balance and bring it back to its normal color and everything was fine. Personally, I wouldn't want to do that for every single photograph that I take. Another thing you read about online a lot with regards to modified cameras is focusing with a camera lens. Now, as long as, if you, if you do this yourself, if you get somebody else to do it, as long as the person who is doing it replaces the filter, it can just be a, a clear bit of glass uh, behind the mirror. As long as they do that, that gives it the correct spacing to be able to focus your camera still. Uh, and that, that is all it's about, it's just about the spacing. So um, 
you absolutely can still use your camera with a camera lens. The other myth that I read about a lot online with regards to modified DSLRs is about losing autofocus. So as long as the modification has been done properly and your camera has been re-shimmed afterwards, and by that I mean a, a, even just a clear bit of glass has been put back in the place of the filter, you'll still be able to autofocus with your camera. The other way of still being able to use your camera uh, during the daytime is if you have the Barda BCF filter replacement as well. So what this will allow is it will, there, there are two filters in a camera. The first one is your IR or hot mirror filter. That one is, is removed and, in, and then re-shimmed for a, a, a sort of standard astrophotography. The second filter is, is the Barda filter. So if you have this one replaced, the first filter will still have all of the um, hydrogen alpha 656 nanometer wavelength coming through and hitting the sensor but the new BADA filter will uh, apply a color correction for daytime photos so you don't have to mess about a bit with it uh, in post-processing all the time. So that is another way of maintaining the camera for daytime use as well. It is a more expensive option for astro modification. With all that said, if you're looking to take your astro photography to the next level and aren't sure where to go, then astro modifying your camera is certainly a cheap option to take your photos to the next level. I'm Nick, this is Astro Exploring, thanks for watching.